So this is Aime, she's one of my best friends and one of my favorite people in the whole world and her birthday is coming up. I mean, I guess by the time this video is uploaded, it will already have happened, but I really wanted to make her something special for her birthday. And choosing what to do wasn't that complicated because one of her favorite movies of all time, if not her favorite movie of all time, is La La Land. She even traveled the entire day once just to visit the Lighthouse Cafe where they filmed it. So I decided to make the iconic yellow dress that Mia wears in the movie and the poster as well. I think you guys know the one that I'm talking about, but I've never really made it before. So I'm slightly worried, but hopefully everything will go well and she will love it as much as I think she will. So this video will be slightly different from usual because I will mostly be vlogging the process on how to do it but I'll make sure to try and explain everything really step by step so anyone who's watching this is able to make one at home if you want to as well. So now let's get to it. Okay, so first I'm trying to understand how the dress was constructed. It seems pretty simple. The only pattern pieces that I'm not completely sure of at the moment are the sleeves. But I'll make a twelve before cutting the actual yellow fabric so I'll be able to alter anything if it's not right. The skirt, my guess, will be a half circle skirt. I'm not completely sure, but we'll see. And the skirt seems to be connected to a waistband. And I think the dress has a side invisible zipper. And for the bodice, I think I just have to transfer the bust darts to the waist, like all of the darts to the waist. And instead of sewing the darts closed, I will just gather the bottom. And I might add a little bit of the sides, like here. Like add a little bit more fabric at the sides if the toile is not gathered enough, but we'll see. And the top seems to be finished with a facing, but I might do it fully lined because yellow fabrics tend to be a bit transparent. But the fabric I bought for the dress hasn't arrived yet, so we'll see. But I'll probably make it lined. Just a toile finish with a facing. Now let's make the first version of the pattern. So I transferred the shoulder dart to the waist and for the neckline, I drew a line slightly above the armhole with a curve at the edge for the armhole. And the sleeves are just a square with the same length as the distance between the neckline that we drew before and the shoulder. And the facing has the same shape as the top, but it's only a few centimeters long. And the skirt is the half circle skirt. I'll leave a link in the description as well of a video showing you how to make one in more detail, but you just have to divide your waist measurement by 3.14 and use the result as the radius to draw the half circle. And then use the length you want your skirt to be uh, to draw the bottom curve. And this is the pattern piece. But I only cut the skirt on the yellow fabric, not the toile. Okay, so these are the pattern pieces that I made. I didn't make the back though because for the back I'm just gonna make it straight across. And this is the sleeve. Uh, the intention that I have with this is to gather this part and sew it here. I think this might be the right positioning for it but I'm not completely sure. And I also added a little bit at the top. Like this is gonna be the fold where I'm gonna cut the sleeve. I'm gonna cut this part and fold. And I added a little bit here because I'm a bit scared that it might be either too tight or too loose and it's going to keep falling off. I thought about making this part a bit uh, wider. And my intention is to add elastic to this part so it would be more secure around the shoulder so it's not going to keep falling off. I'm going to have to test it out and I'll show you guys what happens with the twile, what, what, what I think about it, if I'm gonna change anything afterwards, but so far that's what I'm planning to do. Here are the cut pieces that I have. This is the back and I also cut the facing for the back. This is the fold here. And this is the waistband. Uh, so I'm gonna gather this part, sew it here, then I'll put the facing on top and sew it and I'll do the same with the back 
and then I will gather the bottom and sew it to the waistband. So this is what I've come up with so far. I feel like this shape is exactly what I wanted. Uh, the reason for me to add the waistband was just to check it, but I just have to gather it like this. I think you can see it not that well in the video because it's black, but gather it like this, you know? And then sew it to the waistband. I think it's gonna work out. What I was mostly um, not sure about was the sleeves, but I feel like the shape is okay. Yeah, I think it's gonna work out, so I'm gonna make the yellow dress now. I couldn't find fabric with the exact pattern, so I bought fabric paint. I plan on making a stencil with a flower design and paint on top of it, which I have never done before, this is going to be a first. But for the flower design, I traced over a photo of the dress on Inkscape. I'll leave the file of the drawing in the description if you guys want it. And then I just printed it in order to transfer it to the stencil. To make a stencil, I'll try to transfer the drawing to this plastic sheet so it's more sturdy. But I'll ask my dad to cut it because I think he's gonna do a better job than me. If you plan on doing this, be careful when cutting so you don't hurt yourself. And use a proper pen on top of the plastic sheet so it doesn't rub off. So my dad finished cutting the flowers for me with an exacto knife. But this one... He made a mistake and he cut the entire flower off so it's gonna be hard for me to paint over it in because it will keep moving around a little but for the second one i don't know if you can see properly on camera but he kept this part without cutting right here and also this part right here without cutting so the flower would stay in place and i think it's gonna work out so I'm gonna try it out now with another piece of fabric that is not the yellow one that I bought for the dress because I could be making a mistake and I have never really done this before so I'll film it and I'll see if I have some sort of tip that will make it easier for you guys. Hopefully I won't make any mistakes but we'll see. I'll be using this brush right here and just fabric paint. One thing that I've noticed is that it's better when you use your brush like you're patting it instead of stroking it. So I'll try to do it again. It's not bad. It's pretty similar to the, to the original design. So I think it's gonna work out, but I'll try to go over it to make it a little bit smoother. I was a bit scared that it wasn't gonna work out, but I think it is. Look, it looks pretty similar. I tried placing it close to where hers is. So next I'm gonna do the, the, the bodice and place them here. And for the skirt, it seems pretty loose. So I'm gonna try and do that later. I made a really, really big mistake. Everything was going on so well. I cannot believe I did this. I put the side with the wet paint towards the fabric and I didn't notice that I did that until I took it off. I cannot believe it. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <sighs> I decided to just keep doing the rest for now because I was going to meet her in three days, so I wouldn't have time to buy new fabric and then have it shipped to my house. But later I'll show you how I fix it, but I was basically losing my mind here. So now I'll add the elastic to the sleeves and hem it. I also sewed a gathering stitch at the edges and gathered it enough so it would have the same width as the marks I left on the pattern. And then I sewed the sleeves to the front bodice. And sewed the back bodice to the front bodice. For the lining or the facing, don't forget to sew the opposite side you sewed the fashion fabric because they have to be mirrored. And then place the lining right sides together and sew at the top. Sew the waistbands at the sides and gather the bottom of the bodice until it has the same width as the waistband, which is the same width of your waist. You have to sew the fashion fabric to one of the waistbands and then the lining to the other. And here you have both waistbands sewn to the bodice. I recommend using interfacing so the waistband ends up being sturdier. I didn't and I regret a little bit. And now the skirt. I sewed both panels at the sides and the stain, I turned the fabric inside out and I painted right on top of it. It's not perfect, but I wouldn't have time to get more fabric before her birthday, so I had to settle for this. Now I'll sew the skirt right sides together to the waistband, matching the sides. And then place the lining skirt right on top of the waistband lining, right sides together, and sew. Now I'm just sewing the invisible zipper. It turned out pretty invisible. I'm kind of proud. And now I'll sew the lining to the zipper so it stays really clean on the inside. And to secure all the seams inside, I'm top stitching the waistband. I pinned it all in place beforehand so it doesn't move around. And then I left it hang overnight. You have to do that to circle skirts so the fabric can deform a little and then you can trim it. And all there was left to do was hem the skirt. If you guys have any doubts, let me know in the comments. Yeah. No. 